all right everyone welcome back and uh, a new day so uh, uh, what I did here is uh, basically I uh, flipped the whole thing uh, over as you can see the uh, those things are usually on the bottom these things right there let me walk you over here um, so I flipped it over um, to work on the underside so you as you know these actually go on the bottom here but uh, what I've done now is uh, I put the whole frame together here uh, phase four as I skipped uh, doing phase two gonna do that last um, skip phase three you just went ahead and just continued on and did the first part and then built up to the second and then um, right now I'm on phase five so I had to flip this whole thing upside down because it kind of looks like it's a little bit easier to work upside down since you're going to be working on the axle here in the springs so uh, that's what that's what this is for so here you go that's uh, one of the uh, phase uh, phase five here and uh, basically it's this part right here uh, this weird looking thing and uh, you gotta you gotta match it up to uh, I guess you, if you see this slit right here that's what goes over here and uh, what you gotta do is since this is the, we're on the bottom you gotta remove the bolts I put the bolts in thinking that's what you had to do but really you don't put any bolts on the bottom um, I gotta take that off but uh, because if you closely look at um, what they're telling you and when you when they tell you to put the front and back uh, frames together this is the front part right here if you look the front part has a nut and bolt top and bottom but if you look on the back side where the two butt up against each other there's only a nut and bolt only on the top side um, and then this is the back side of the frame and you see the where the where the front side of the uh, back butts up against the rear side of the frame um, bolt only the top part so, um, so you gotta basically take this off you gotta remove these um, because if you don't and you put this on here it's not gonna it's not gonna sit flush as you can see it's not gonna sit flush with those bolts in the way and so that's what this is right here so I've taken that off and uh, I had to open the second package which is all this stuff here and this one here is um, a little bit a little bit longer so here's the other two package this is uh, your 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt here uh, You'll, you'll still work with these uh, nuts here, with the nylon um, lock nuts here. Uh, but if you look, um, this is a 20 millimeter long, supposedly. Where, if you see this, this is 25. And then this is a 30. So, kind of trying to put it in a way that you can see it. So, 20, 25, 30. So, make that distinguishment because... Uh, you're gonna need it and so these are the 25s the 25s go in here and then on the side because they're a little bit longer um, and then your 30 which is a little bit longer 30 millimeter same same diameter and bolt so you just use the same nut goes here because basically if you look at this it's a welded, let me see here, okay, there are, it's a piece that's welded onto another piece that's going to go into, let me see here, okay, a piece, okay, a piece welded onto another piece that's going to be bolted in the frame, so you got, you know, you're going through basically three plates here, um, I don't know if you can see that any better, but you can see where, where it's been welded so you got this piece this piece and then this piece in the frame 
So you basically have to use a longer bolt right here. And basically this hole is this hole. I can't move it because I put it in there just to show you. But it's going to be this hole up here, the front part of the frame. And, uh, well, there's only one hole for it. Oddly enough, you're not going to have a bolt go in here at all, which is kind of, you know, strange, but that's the way it's set up. But uh, you will have a carriage bolt going through. And uh, that is these right here, which are in itself uh, supposedly, supposedly the same 30, mi 30 millimeter, supposedly, let me see here, yeah, it's supposed to be a 30 millimeter carriage bolt, but it doesn't quite look like the same size, but anyways, you get four of these, and uh, they, one goes right here, which goes through the frame. So there is something supported on the back side here. And then another one right here on, on this back side. And that's a carriage bolt as well. So, uh, yeah, have, have fun with that. Um, be careful with this here. Because uh, if you try to use your socket wrenches in here, um, they'll kind of get in the way and it's going to be hard. So you might have to bolt this in first, the side first, and then use a uh, crescent wrench for the bottom part, which is on top here. But So anyways, just, just to give you a heads up on that. Other than that, everything... Everything looks like it's coming together. This side is really sturdy now. Um, really sturdy. Um, so this is basically where your spring is going to be. And eventually your axle will be on the springs. And then, so the springs will go here. You'll have your U-bolt. Um, springs will go here and here. Then you'll have your U-bolt somewhere right around here. And then your axle going through. And then your tire should be somewhere right around here in this area. Um, so not not too bad. Um, it's getting there. Uh, thank goodness it's during the day because I can use my uh, uh, air ratchet, which is makes a big difference. Um, I'm probably going to be re uh, retorquing most of this stuff just to make sure it's tight. So so basically that's where I'm at here. I'm going to do the other side lift. So this is just to show you what it, what it looks like before. Don't put the bolts here on the bottom portion of this. Take it out because this is what's going to be going on it. Uh, basically it's your uh, spring hanger. Uh, it's for the springs. And so that's where I'm at right now. Next step will be probably this step here because I have the uh, trailer upside down. The frame's upside down so it's easy to work on. I'm not going to put the fender on because I'm going to put it right side up again and then put the fender on and then put the uh, tire on because I have them I do have them on jacks so I'll be able to work with it and then the last thing I'm going to do let me see what um, of course you're going to have to you know pack your bearings um, but uh, the last thing I'm going to do is probably well you, uh, you know what um, this is going to be the second last. After I do, after I do, put the axle on. I'm not going to put the fenders on. I'm going to do that last, along with the putting the wheel on and, and packing my bearings. But uh, this is going to probably be second to last because this is most of this work looks like I'm going to have to work on it upside down here. Probably have better access. And then after that, um, it's going to be a little heavy, but uh, I think I still can um, flip it over without any problems. Um, and then put the last thing I'm going to do is put the, t put the tires on. So uh, that's the update here. Uh, but pretty much it's, it's, it's starting to really come together. 
Um, so it's coming. Uh, so just stay tuned here, and uh, you'll see the rest of it. Uh, eventually, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it finished. All right, everyone. Uh, this is uh, the other side that's done. Uh, the spring hanger here, and uh, you see it's all done just like I did on the other side. And uh, you know, uh, just to let you know, uh, before you start uh, torquing everything down, make sure all the bolts. At least all the bolts are in. Um, that way, the you know it fits. Because if you start torquing one side, um, some of the other bolts may not fit in there. So there you go. And this thing is much more sturdier with this on now. Um, so we'll we'll see how it goes. It's it feels mm, a lot stronger than it was before because it was just wobbling in the middle, as you saw. So let me. I'm just gonna test it right here. Okay, well it's holding my weight. I know it's upside down, but you know, still. Although there's no bolt, um, there's a bolt going through here, as you can see, coming through. There's no bolt here. Um, what I might do just to, maybe, maybe not, depends. Uh, doesn't require any bolts to be put in here when you connect them because it's only putting two, if you see that. It only requires two, and that's all it is. It just says two, which go, you know, right in. Where are they? Oh, one's, one's right here, and the other one's right right there. Uh, but there is an, a room here, if you can get to it, for a third uh, and fourth. Um, I don't know, it's just... Just kind of weird. Just have this hanging here like that. There's one on the other side, as you as you can see. There's another hole right here. Let's see if I can stick my little gloves in there. There it is. See? See the hole? Okay. So, um, anyways, we'll see. We'll put it all together and find out. But uh, there it is. It's it's coming together really nice. So uh, I'll cut out here and we'll cut back in when I put the axle and springs on here. All right. All right. Uh, put the springs on and kind of just uh, fitted. I haven't done anything yet, but just for the most part, just fitted uh, everything together. And uh, basically, uh, that's how it's supposed to look, I guess, when you're done. Um, this goes on the bottom here and the U bolts go through. There's only one way to put the plate on because if you try to put the if you try to put this um, there's it goes if you look at it, it kind of it's not really square square per se it's it's one side is a little bit longer um, it goes underneath and there's a little there's a little bolt there it is you see the, the net and the bolt there it that's what the hole goes uh, this hole goes through and if you try to put it this way uh, unfortunately, uh, the the springs will not fit in, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, you're just never going to do it. So there's only one way to do it. That's this way, and voila. So uh, save yourself some grief if you're trying to pull your hair out. Sorry about that. Got a call, but uh, here it is. So save yourself some grief, and uh, you know, only one way to put these two in. There you go. There it is. And so if you want it to be set up like this. I haven't uh, bolted anything yet. I just wanted to fit it. Uh, of course, remember to fit everything before you start torquing. That way, everything f works. You can you can make it put the put the parts on that you need. And then uh, right here, um, when you put this on. <coughs> There's this thing here, a little stud sticking out, and of course right here you have a little hole for it. And same thing on the other side, so you want to make sure that that fits. This is all loose. This is not in yet. Apparently the only thing that's holding this, is going to hold this in, is just a cotter pin. There's no, uh, I don't see anything telling me to put the nuts on these. So, I mean, I got these large 
nuts here, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll, I haven't finished reading the directions here. Um, of course, according to, according to this here, um, the diagram does not show a nut. It shows cotter pin, but uh, let me see, phase six. Taking a quick look here. Okay, you, so you do use a cotter pin. So let me see, it's one, two, three, four. Um, use the nuts and the cotter pin, according to this here. All right, sorry about that. I had a neighbor come by. I wanted to borrow my floor jack. It's changing out his brakes, you know. Your neighborhood is only as good as uh, you know you make it out to be. And uh, you know when a, when a neighbor asks for for help, I would say you know do it. Considering these, you know, this stuff is pretty cheap. So, anyways, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, I'm sorry over here. It uh, it looks like you do put a nut at the end of this, and then a cotter pin. I guess I don't want that nut coming off. But the thing I don't understand is, uh, I'm assuming these are the nuts here, but I got one, two, three, four, five, I got six, and there's only one, two, three, four, um, unless I'm missing something here, because these, these bolts are the only thing that's big enough, oh, well, you know what, I take that back, so there's two of these, so it looks like that sounds right, so... Two. Just make sure I'm gonna keep these in reserve here. So anyway, I'll I'll bolt. Just screw them on to know that those are for those uh, for that bolt. So looks like you do put the bolts in. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, but I just haven't done it. I'm just fitting it right now. It looks like everything's working. So that's that's the update there. Um, man, it's it's coming along. Coming along really good. So, uh, so let's let's kind of take a look at the whole thing now. There, there it goes. It's not that. It it kind of looks big on you know when I'm recording this, but uh, it's it's really not that big. Um, my other trailer was way bigger. It took up to to that edge here to here. And that's with the, uh, uh, of course, the tires here and, and everything. And, you know, I would literally only have, like, this much from the carpet. The tires would go from this carpet all the way to the edge of probably where the, uh, uh, almost to the bucket or where that box is. Um, tire to tire on my older trailer. It was a little bit wider. So this is a little bit smaller. Um, once I get the uh, hitch on... Uh, I like to see how long it really is. Um, it should be two foot shorter than my other trailer. My my other trailer just fit in perfect, but I had to back it up. Actually, I had to. I would say I have to back it up, yeah, you know, all the way, and the hitch would fit in to the garage. Uh, since this is two foot shorter, I think I might have some some room back here to to move around in. So, anyways, uh. The, there you go, there's the update on that, and as soon as I get that in, um, uh, I'll probably put the, the the hitch portion of this on while it's upside down, and hopefully it's not too heavy at that point where uh, I'm going to have to flip it over again, and then I'll put the fender, the wheels, of course do the bearing, pack that bearing. Alright, thanks a lot. All right, uh, everything's uh, bolted down. Um, cotter pins are in. Uh, this is screwed as well. So this isn't moving anywhere, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, same thing on the other side as well. So uh, this took a little bit longer than I expected, mainly because uh, there's no room here to uh, put in your uh, air ratchet, at least for me, or 
or your sockets um, or socket wrench. So um, you know, I had to go with the old, good old wrench here, um, 17 mil, to uh, tighten these up, uh, all four of them. So I think they're on good enough. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think uh, the way it turns makes a difference. Um, at least I hope not. So, anyways, uh, it should just, for the most part, just spin. Uh, don't know if this makes a difference in which way it turns or not. Uh, maybe it does. Uh, I'll, I'll probably have to check it, but uh, uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, I guess on to uh, the front part here, and uh, I'll cut out right now and uh, uh, cut back in when that's done. Well, everybody, uh, it's getting late. Uh, since I last left, uh, uh, basically helped the neighbor uh, replace the brakes and borrowed some of my uh, floor jack and uh, C-clamp. Anyways, I'm, I'm back to this part right here after uh, putting on the axle. And so this is, I kind of jumbled around, this is supposed to be phase two, but uh, it's, it's my second to last part here, which is this right here. Um, so it's basically uh, uh, part of the tongue uh, hitch here. Uh, this is upside down, so this is what you're seeing. And I want to make a little note here. There's this nut right here which doesn't have any lock threads, you put, you're supposed to put your cotter pin in there. And then there's a nut right here that has a lock nut. Um, don't mix those two up because you need this nut for this bolt here, which is a, a different size. Um, matter of fact, I had to buy a new t uh, toy here, a uh, new socket set, uh, half inch, since I got the uh, half inch uh, air ratchet. Uh, half inch drive, 13 piece uh, deep impact socket and uh, the reason why I got this one was uh, I had to, had to basically use this for um, this nut and bolt. Uh, this is being a 22 going on the nut there and this being a 21 uh, going on the, uh, on the bolt. And, uh, or maybe it was, oh, here it is, on this side. So, and that's kind of what I used. Uh, had the adapter, the 3 8 to half inch, so put that on here. Of course, this is just a half inch, so I used my air ratchet over there. And so, got a new toy. So, my, my other set, uh, metric. How far did it go? It, it went up to 21, but I needed uh, I needed that 22. So I figured go ahead and just get the just go ahead and get this set. Um, I think I could have just bought the 22, um, but I figured why not go go get the whole set. So I got something for my half inch uh, drive, which I have the adapter right there, so I can use it with the 3 8 if I have to. So Anyways, just made it, made that whole process a lot, lot quicker, and give me an excuse to buy something, which I did buy with a coupon, um, so it was still cheap. Anyways, um, here's what it looks like, and it was tricky because I had to uh, loosen these, uh, these bolts up here to make, to make these two things work because they wouldn't at first they wouldn't fit in here in those in those little latches here after I put uh, this on the pin um, wouldn't line up wouldn't line up against here so uh, had to loosen these up here um, had to had to put all the nuts on loose before I tighten them down because once you torque them um, if you can't get the nut in, you can't get the uh, the nut or the bolt in. So that was uh, 
quite a bit of challenge. Um, I wish I could have showed you at the time, but uh, you know, I guess you'll just have to just experience it for yourself. So let me uh, back out here. This is all upside down. I'm going to eventually turn it right side up now. So um, there you go. There's the whole thing in action. So uh, I'll flip this thing around again. And um, once I do that, I'll go ahead and uh, put the fenders on each side here. And then the last part I'll do, uh, well, not, not really the last part, but last part's the lighting, of course, doing the electrical. But uh, start uh, hmm, greasing the, uh, packing the, the uh, bearings here on each side, here and here, pretty much. So, anyways, uh, this is uh, pretty much day two. I, 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 if I really wanted to, you could do this in two days if you just work on it constantly. Um, but, you know, I get interrupted and I got things to do and, you know, stuff like that. So, so this is day two pretty much. Um, so, uh, probably the next episode will be uh, uh, turning this thing over and then uh, pack the uh, bearings with grease. It says here to clean it out and then repack it. So I've got to figure that out. So, anyways, everything looks looks good. Once you, once you put the uh, supports here, and then the axle on, um, man, this thing is rock solid. It, um, it's it looks like it's it's pretty good. Um, won't know until I put the wheels on it. See how it goes. Um, if I have to, I'll I'll weld. I'll weld it. I, I do have the welder, so. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and cut out from here. Uh, the other part here, before I cut out, I just want to show you this. This is upside down, of course. Uh, this is top and bottom. Um, this was kind of tricky because I had to use a ratchet to get to here. I couldn't use the sockets um, because there's not, not enough room. The C channel here is way too small. Um, so, what I recommend you doing is, um, and, I'll, and I'll try to show you, yeah, basically the nuts are 17 mil. So, I recommend if, if you have it upside down like this, like I did, um, start with the, uh, start with the last one. Uh, let's see if I can get it. So. Start with the last one. This is what you want to start with. Um, of course, uh, you won't have these here, so you don't want these won't be here. You start here, and that's that's that gives you the clearing. And then use the air ratchet to uh, screw those in, and then you work on your second one, which gives you the clearing here. So you'll be able to to you know do something like this and then finally your last one and you do that and then you do the same, you do the same thing um, on this side here and then for the top part same thing you you know you you uh, just kind of go underneath but this goes underneath here um, you know this way and then you basically screw on this one first bolt on this and bolt this last same thing here. Both do this first, and then do this last, and that way you'll you'll be able to to bolt them in. So that's that's my just recommendation. You could do it, you know, however hell you want to do it. Uh, it's up to you. So, but uh, that that's what worked for me. And so there's there's a view from from here. Uh, I know it kind of looks big on camera, but it's really a really small little thing. Um, but that's all right. I kind of want it to be small so I could work around it. So anyways, uh, I'll cut out here and uh, uh, feel free to, I think this is going to be the end of this episode here. Uh, feel free to uh, comment, uh, like, dislike, uh, even leave a video response. And so stay tuned for the next episode would be uh, day three and uh, this is going to be fun. 
All right. Bye now.